Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Community Corner, where we take your questions from the community and or popular discussions that we see in the community, and we try to talk about them on the show. We try My, to talk about them. We try to talk about them. <laughs> we try to address them. We do. And sometimes the words just don't form sometimes, properly. Sometimes people don't like the discussions that we have about the discussions that the communities have, and that's it happens. All we, right, we do we do our best though. Yes. Uh, my name is KL Smith. I'm the community manager here at Epic Games, joined by uh, the meme master, What's the up, one guys? and only, the legend. What's up, guys? Out here, the one the, true king. One, the one true king. I like that. I Mooney. Like that. And then we have this guy over here. This guy, <laughs> <laughs> our lead hero designer, Cameron Winston. What's up, man? Uh, I don't know. I'm waiting for my turtleneck. You know what? Next week. Next week. I, I make it happen. Next week we're doing it. Okay, good. good. Send me it. the link. We're all buying turtlenecks. Nice. And we're doing it. Uh, so the problem is just the sizing because you're buying off like, you know, Amazon. So you're like, you don't even know. Well, if it's 100% like, cotton, you just order a size up. So when you wash it, it shrinks. Yeah. Good. Good point. So we just get 50-50 blends. XL. Yeah, XL. 50-50 blends. 50-50 yeah, blends. Let's go. On. You guys yeah. hear, heard it first. Next week, turtlenecks. Turtle it's happening. It's happening. Uh, so V43 launched yesterday. Sure did. Mm -hmm. Fun times. Yeah. I uh, I did a prayer. I did a. a oh, I love that. I, I lost it. I, I like, gave the server my energy. I went to reply, but it was on my phone, <laughs> and I was like, "There's no way I'm trying to make that <laughs> on my phone." I gave I gave like, the server. It was hilarious too because I, I saw you tweet that, and then somebody responded. I was like, "Do you think the servers will make it tomorrow?" And you just responded, and I'm like, "Give my servers my energy, dude." Yeah. So yes, the servers made it. Uh, we still have some issues with V43 that we're working through, uh, crashes, uh, some hitches some performance issues uh there was an issue with the store where you couldn't buy coins working through uh, a number of issues that, that kind of cropped up uh mm -hmm. some of the the crashes we didn't see internally and then when we flipped them on live just seeing all the different configurations for yep. Yep. uh different systems things are are popping up so we are definitely working right now around the clock to make sure that we address all those issues uh, and get the game in a state where it's performing well and you guys can just enjoy the beauty of V43 and all of the great balance changes that went into uh, the game yesterday. So hopefully you guys will have uh, some more fixes coming very, very soon that address your issues. Uh, now, there were so a couple changes that you know we missed in the release notes. This happens time and time again. I, I want to publicly say this because it have it is happen, it happens all the time in all games. Uh, we do our very very best to uh, catch all of the changes that go mm -hmm. from one release to the next, and sometimes we miss things. And uh, some changes, either things don't work how we want to, or maybe they get reverted, or well, we just miss things. And like like I saw the Richter change. Richter change. But I don't even know if that's a thing. Like, because when I'm playing them internally, I'm not seeing that. So, like, I want to, like, you know, try to track that down and see, like, what people... And it also, maybe it's just, like, a perception thing. Like, maybe it didn't actually change. But we have ways of... We'll figure it out. Like, yeah. you know. But I could definitely tell you that that was not an intent. Like, if it did change, oops. If it didn't change, then yay. Or I, I don't know. But Yeah. Like, so, I mean, those are things, like, so Richter, we saw... We've seen a couple threads. I've gotten pinged personally. Uh, either on Twitter, I got a couple of DMs. Right. Uh, like, uh, we're not just here maniacally twiddling our yeah, thumbs, no. just being like, ah, ha, 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 I didn't see the Richter change. And Richter is actually my favorite hero. So, yeah. uh, you know, when people ping me about it, I'm like, wait a second. Yeah, we're like walking outside, and Kale's just like, so this weird, weird Richter, Richter thing. thing. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. So, there's things like that that, you know, crop up. We definitely take those uh, very seriously. Mm -hmm. as, as soon as someone pinged me about it, I, I, I think also Chris made a, a couple yeah. uh, questionnaire threads to uh, some of the design team, but we're not doing any uh, changes intentionally and intentionally uh, not telling you guys about it. We try to include every single thing that goes into each release in yeah, our I mean, release It makes notes. the patch notes better too. Why, why wouldn't you want to include that, right? You know, like, right. it's just like, this is some good, like, because it's not like you're not going to notice, right? It's not like, oh, like. <laughs> <laughs> Epic pull that one over. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, we, we nerfed the attack speed of this guy and like nobody figured it out for like, no, of course you're going to know. Like, you know instantly, like, that's ridiculous. Yeah, so, you know, we would always try to get better with release notes. So if you guys notice anything that is wonky or you feel like it's just a little off from a previous iteration and it wasn't listed in the release notes, just being one of, uh, of us, we'll figure out what the issue is mm -hmm. and, and uh, uh, sort it out. Now, today we want to focus on uh, some questions. We have three questions from the community. Before we do questions, oh, I have a really quick question. I have a question for you guys. Yeah, sure. Shield bonk. You guys bonking? I have I not. I've, I have not bonked yet today. Yeah, I, play, I plan to do a ton of bonking. You, got, later you gotta do some bonking. I played like, Seraph and I played Wukong. Yeah. Yeah. You want to know why I play both of those heroes? Why? 
because I could go around and, and jump uh, on the area. I, I un- plan to be shield yeah. bonking all night long. So yeah, dude, you could be like the, the bonking is real. So much bonking. Yeah, dude. So much fun. Anyways, I just wanted to derail a little That's bit. With I like it. Well, he's, good. he's the bonk guy. No, he's, I'm yeah, gonna. No, I saw. So we were. I was playing against. I played one game today. Uh, ended up being mid, so I just played Gideon. But we were playing against, and there was a steal on the other team. My dude, my dude was out here. Like he was laying down some like, and I. Saw, that's the thing. I, every time I saw him, he's just like in it. He's just yeah. in it with someone. Like it just they are just pop, knock pop, down, pop, drag pop, out, pop, punch. Pop, 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 oh, dude, pop, he's pop. so terrifying now. No, he just it's, walks up. It's just so like, menacing oh, too. He was just walking up, and I was like, oh nope, you gonna hang out here, dude? I'm out of here. So like, I can't wait. To just do that to be do the you, bonker. Do you remember when V42 launched and you were rocking steel mid? Yeah, dude. Or actually, it wasn't. It wasn't. It was. It was, it was 42. It was when uh, uh, the armor. Yeah, the armor changed. Uh, blade yep, of armor. Yeah, yeah, uh, the blade of armor because like you could just you just run that and it's cool. And I'm you know, maybe run run some new steel steel now. You're gonna steel do that now. with the bonk. Yeah, well, try dude. to try to take chase him out of offlane too because you can't you can't tower dive him because he just bonks you and yep. then he runs around the tower and you're just getting hit by this tower. It's awful and like and then if you he just kites you for a couple seconds, it'll bonk you again. Like that's it's the end of you. Mm-hmm. Double two bonks under a tower, <laughs> get bonked, dude. <laughs> so yes, uh, I have not personally played. I played uh, Sarah. Mm-hmm. I played Wukong a little bit, and I just did that in solo. I haven't played a PvP match just yet, just because there's so many things going on here at Epic right now. So yep. uh, I I plan on playing quite a bit this weekend. Weekend is my time to just yeah, it's gonna be time to yeah, time to shine. It's gonna be two bonk, two furious, dude. Two time bonk, two furious. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so on the streets of Agora, <laughs> in order to win, you have to bonk control. <sighs> <sighs> okay, so for questions from the community, uh, the first one is from Random Bob One Hundred One. You know, we actually went back and grabbed some questions uh, that were popular ones from uh, the red thread that yeah. Cameron put out. So uh, I'm gonna just say this right now: if you have any co- comments about uh, V43 or just anything about the game, leave them down in the comment section and we'll try to get those on the next show. Economy before V42, you guys told us a hundred times that we're not supposed to reach 60 CXP and now we are at full build 20 to 25 minutes into the game. Why is it okay now? Is that actually, that's not actually true. So it, it's, it's really not like, um, so, so here, here's the thing about this. Uh, this is one of those wonderful, like out of context quotes. Uh, we told you that it is not balanced or designed around you hitting 60 CXP. Yep. And it is also not balanced or designed around everyone having full build. I would say that getting to full build now in Paragon is, I mean, if you, really, if you really want to stop what a full build is, it's 25 pips of every, of every color. And then you have you know, all the th- your three favorite cards, plus like a bunch of extra money and things like power taps or any of the right. like extra economy dumps. Like if you're talking about when your hero comes online, sure, your heroes come online at very different points in the game. But like, yeah, we expect between 20, 25 minutes, the people who are winning, who have money are coming into their essentially late game builds. Build, yeah. right. But but what there's a big difference between late game builds and full builds. It's like we expect you to start being able to to win the game. It's kind of like if you go back to old RTSs, right? So RTSs from back in the day. Like they, there's always like three phases of most RTSs, like whether you're playing, you know, your favorite craft game or whether you're playing like, you know, um uh, what's it called? Empire. Uh, uh yeah, uh, yeah, AoE or uh even um I want to say that CNC Mm-hmm. Any of these games, right? You got your early game where you're essentially like Zerg Rush, KKK, right? Like that's happening. It's yep. like, and then in a, in a normal map, it's just like, okay, you do the rush, I do the rush. We're both good players of the same equal skill. The rushes kind of hit each other and mash and cool. Then it's like second wave. Now I'm like, we're doing Hydralisks and I'm doing like Siege Tanks. Okay, boom, they hit each other, right? And then it's like the third wave was now I'm building like carriers and you're building Mutalisks and like, and we're, we're microing the whole thing. And then at that point, that's when somebody starts to lose, right? Because mm-hmm. you start to run out of resources and the time starts to, to wind to a close. If it's imbalanced, if like if you show up with carriers before, when I'm still at like the hydralisk stage, like that's the end, right? right like that's yeah. that's how it goes. But it's like more like if I show up with zerglings and you got nothing, that the end, mm-hmm. right? So that's the same thing in a MOBA, right? Like so if you're both going at the same pace, the game will continue. But then as the game starts to get towards the end, then you start to get to uh to like, well, now losing a team fight becomes more meaningful. Right. And, and remember, like, we are shooting for, you know, a, a, a shorter match time than like 50 minutes. We don't want 
most of our games to be 50 minutes. Like, it's okay if, like, game goes long because, you know, if, if the teams are super evenly matched and you're, like, neck and neck and it's, like, anyone's game and you're in, like, 46 minutes into the game, that's great. That feels awesome. But it doesn't feel awesome to feel like, hey, you know, we lost this game, like, 15 minutes now ago. Now I'm and, losing for 50 minutes. And, and now we're just, yeah. like, waiting for it to play out. Right. So what we're doing is we're leveraging... As you gain advantages, we're dynamically increasing the advantages to be to the point where, like, okay, you're winning the game in 25 minutes. You win the team fight. You take prime, and now like your carry is fed, and you can win the game. GG. Then it's GG. But if it's like versus going like, okay, well they took all this stuff and and we did it. Now that being said, we know that match times are a little high or a little low rather for some of our most experienced hardcore players. We we want to bring those up. up, and so the goal is not to like. Like, you don't want to see, like, the best players of Paragon playing 14-minute matches. Like, that's right. not, like, right. that's not enough time to really be invested in it, right? But at the same token, like, you want to you wanna also, like, bring everyone into a closer band. So what we're seeing right now is, like, you know, economy changes are designed in such a way that players can get to a point in the game where they get enough money to win the game. And when that happens right now is in a normal game is somewhere between 20 and 25 minutes, people who are focused on economy, like carries mostly, yep. are going to be able to come online and begin to have builds that allow them to win the game. It right. doesn't mean the game just ends. It just means that now if you lose the team fight, there's a guy that can actually wreck your base. Well, no, and that's what I was going to say. I was being like, it sounds like a question that somebody who maybe plays a carry would ask because you do feel like, oh, I'm getting to that point where I'm like real strong. 20, 25 minutes, I can start yeah. tearing these towers down. I'm tearing down like mm -hmm. uh, other heroes. But you got to like, you think about like some of the other people on your team who may not be those economy based here. Like they may not have yeah. that economical advantage at that point. Like I'm on support out here, like <laughs> level strug 10, nobody. struggling. In. Like I'm out here struggling for economy, but like I have cards to help like supplement that. But I'm still struggling to catch up to that point. So I may not be at that late like that later game build yet, but it's a different perspective of like what I see as my late game build versus other people. Sure. Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm Narbash with six uh, six points of intellect, and I've spent six thousand gold on lamp lighters. Yeah. So like yeah, yeah. I mean, but you know. but no, but and then <laughs> speaking of, speaking of effectiveness though, like you are for the sake of like that point of the game, maybe you are filled Maybe you only intended to buy lamp lighters and put those words down. Yeah. That's every game for me <laughs> i just intended to cover the map in lamp lighters getting on support you're going to get some questions about well, well why are supports uh built like that i can already anticipate it uh from the community so i mean like again like the idea for a support like where we're going with it is like the only way to differentiate between like is essentially what makes the support successful is supports are essentially like they're they're like ability focused damage casters that have essentially a couple unselfish abilities so like Heroes like Narbash and FaZe are, are, are kind of like, you know, exactly where we want like supports to be. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, okay, here's this thing I do to interact with the enemy. And I also I make it good for you. But I also can like, you know, if support, if, if in the right situation can make plays and get kills. So what's to stop your support from just like, you know, going crazy. One of the things we noticed in the early game, and we talked, I think we talked about this in the early we community did. corner. It's like, if you just give supports money, and then they also have like AOE nukes and ways to engage with the enemy, then they're just essentially like, like it's just like having an extra mage. Why, it's like, yeah, why don't I just play? Yeah, don't don't put a Muriel there. Put a Gideon. Yep. Like let's put a let's put a uh, you know let's put a damage guy there. And then it's like oh yeah, you just had an extra mid laner. It just showed up and it just you know took an extra ten minutes to come online. But now they're here and I have just this extra mid laner. And now when your your Muriel starts falling off, like my Gideon is now coming online. Yeah. So, and then it's the case of the best defense is a is a great offense. Yeah. And it's right. just like Gideon as a. And that kind of goes back to what we talked about with stats, right? Right. I just want more damage. Just yeah. give me more damage. Well, in this well, remember, fight. like most players, when given the option to choose literally anything or damage, pick damage. It's yeah. like, well, I mean, but that's not damage because you damage has got a great visual feedback, right? You see numbers going up. Mm -hmm. When numbers going up is like one of the most core primal video game motivation. I mean, if you go back to like old games that had nothing except score, yeah. it's literally just yeah. a number going up. Right. You're playing like, snake. You're playing snake, and you're just like, like oh, why? It's go. like because my score, the the value is higher. Like, but it doesn't mean anything. Like, I know I want it. I want the more. I want that number big. Yep. Yeah, big number. So, uh, next question we have is from Zun. Zumin? Yep. Zumin. Is Zoom, I, Zoom, sorry Zoom, if I marked this. Zoom. Uh, is Epic planning on creating a better replay slash casting mode as seen in the exhibition tournament? The current one has problems and just frankly, really ugly and unappealing to new viewers. I thought it was perfect. What? No, the replay system. It came out flawlessly the first time. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> like, so, no, I mean, yeah. Uh, to answer this question... Appreciate your candor. Yes. Uh, in fact, we want the replay system to be much, much better than mm -hmm. it is right now. Uh, for the exhibition event, we had a uh, custom uh, uh, 
bill that we were using that had some uh, extra time and attention spent on the replay system that we could not quite transfer over into v42 and beyond and so uh, there will be some some periods of time when we have the engineering team specific and ui team specifically honed in on and uh, improving the replay system i can tell you guys that one of the things that we're trying to work into the at least custom match portion of replay is live spectating uh, which is a pretty big feature mm -hmm. so you guys hear, heard it here first uh, so one of the issues that we have right now with the current replay is when we do a live event, if, for those of you guys that are tournament organizers, replay always puts you a little bit behind uh, the uh, action. And so it's kind of difficult to time up if you actually host an event, yep. what the players are uh, having happen in game with what the casters are saying and what you're seeing on screen. And so by having live spectating, it basically makes everything nice. Smooth we can remove buttery. that hurdle out of the production um, process. So that is one of the, the first things that we're going to do in addition to uh, touching up some of the UI. Uh, and Matt Shimbari, uh, Shimbari, when he was on, he talked about cleaning up the UI, basically control-alt-deleting the existing UI that's currently in the game and starting fresh. There is some portion of that that is going to also touch on uh, the existing replay casting mode. So hopefully we uh, can improve that experience. But no, we definitely agree... Uh, we want to create a better replay uh, and casting mode experience for those of you that really, uh, I use replay a lot. For those of you uh, at home watching, uh, also using replay, yes, we definitely want to make it better. Um, and uh, the tournaments uh, hopefully will, especially from the community guys, will continue to, to improve as we make it better uh, in the future. Next question uh, is uh, from Defenses. How do you feel about the current state of objectives in regards to Raptors and Prime? We touched on this just yeah. a smidge, I think, last week. But Cameron, what are the kind of the plans for jungle objectives? So we want them. So it, it's not so much. Like, I can't share the exact plans. Yep. But I mean, as we kind of touched on before, obviously, you know, how do you feel about the current state of them? They're literally just placeholders. Like, I mean, the idea. So so Prime is less of a placeholder, but like we just need more things to do in in the jungle and right. like that's definitely something we're working on um we have a lot of like things we're testing right now um there's at least like four or five different things that people have been pitching and trying and like we've been we've included a few of them some of them are super wonky some of them are like really out there some of them are like really safe and like we're just trying them and we're just seeing like you know hey what is it like when we change this or it was like we change that but i definitely would say we're nowhere near done with the jungle like we're just we're just like we have a lot of of stuff to do and a lot of more cool objectives to have like uh i definitely want to see like you know a big improvement in raptors and the, the team is has got a lot of great ideas and what they mm -hmm. want to do and so like you know the people who are working on it like have a lot of really cool ideas and like i'm excited to see what they come up with and you know there's a bunch of ideas that we're trying to, to kind of test and figure out so and, Essentially, well, and, and this is what I'm hoping from the community side we're able to do for you guys, as we get closer to finalizing what it is we're going to do, we will make sure to communicate it as early as possible uh, so that you guys have an idea of, okay, th this is what we're thinking about for the yeah. jungle, because uh, we think that that's really important. But as of right now, definitely in the trial and trial and trial, trial, yeah, trial, trial and errors. error phases of like testing out the things yeah the, the like uh, like i said there's a lot of things that they uh that they're trying to do uh and like and 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 what we want is we want to make it so so just just to let you know what the goals are the goals is there are a bunch of varying interesting like like raptors and prime should feel different like they should be like okay you do raptors if you want this and you do prime if you want this but they're mm -hmm. essentially all all objectives are meant to be like we have space on the map i want to use this space to do something it's like let's go take a tower is the thing to do right? right but it also can be let's go kill op let's go kill raptors let's go kill you know or early game it can be stuff like let's get green buff and and kill the carry Yep. Right, that can be even a minor objective. So stuff from even that level going up into, let's get river buff and do something. Let's get green buff and do something. Let's get, you know, I don't know, like purple buff or let's get raptor buff or let's get, you know, raptor death laser from the sky or whatever, <laughs> whatever like the thing winds up being. Like, it'll be really fun to just basically be like, okay, we have a strategic advantage. We have, you know, manpower. We have the ability to like win a team fight what kind of thing are we going to try to do to force a team fight and to actually like 
try to try to win the game. Win the right. Game. Right. Raptor, uh, late death beam laser, whatever that definitely that's, confirmed. That's not confirmed. Coming. Raptor confirmed. Laser. Not no confirmed. Is not Kale confirmed. just you just heard it. Kale just said confirmed. Kale Raptor confirmed death that. laser. That is not coming down. It is actually called Kale's. Please. Yeah. Kale Kale presents RDL. <laughs> RDL Raptor Death Laser. Uh, so that's that's it for this week's questions. Uh, like we said uh, previously, if you guys have any questions that you guys have that we have not answered yet on, on any of our community corners, mm-hmm. please leave them down in the description. I'm sure more questions will pop up as we find new things, like stacking auras. That wasn't a thing in previous community Word. corners, yeah. yep. and then it was a thing. Um, so I, I think the community will continue to find emergent gameplay. You guys will continue to have awesome questions, and we will try to answer all of them the best that we can. I know some play answers, 43 and talk to us. Yes, play mainly. 43. Talk about yeah. again. We're trying to work through a lot of issues with 43, but play it. Let us know what your experience is like. Let us know if you like the find me, shield bonk me, tweet it at me, dude. dude you, you're gonna be shield bonking everyone yeah. else. Yeah, I don't know, man. Dude, like, I'm, I'm gonna try to bonk you're as get much bonk as I can. That, it's fine, dude. You get come at me. Yeah. Wow, Remember, bonk at me. <laughs> This the last time before, this, yeah. the this... guy did that, so he had to he had to shave his head. That's so... why I already shaved the beard, so I'm good off the bat. You Stop. know what I mean? <laughs> Stop. You get yourself in, into trouble. All right, guys. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's show. We will see you all next week. Bye.